This morning, plainclothes Turkish police came under fire in the back streets of the Kurdish city of Diyarbakir. One policeman was killed, as was Tahir Elchi, a leading Kurdish human rights lawyer. The awful irony was that he'd been holding a press conference calling for peace only seconds earlier. We don't want weapons, clashes and military operations in a place like this that's been the birthplace and home of many civilizations. Mr. Elchi was shot near this mosque, the scene of recent clashes between Kurdish militia and Turkish security forces. His friends and fellow lawyers are calling this an assassination. Whatever the truth, he told me in Diyarbakir last month that he had been threatened many times with death. Have you received death threats? Yes, yes, uh, particularly uh, in social media. Uh, in, uh, I got uh, hundreds of tweets uh, which uh, threat me uh, by killing. And so, in some uh, tweets, they describe how they will kill me. Uh, they give details of the killing of me. And also, uh, uh, we got uh, maybe tons of uh, phone calls. Mr. Elchi attracted both hatred and applause when he was arrested last month. He faced up to seven and a half years in jail after he had said on this Turkish talk show that the Kurdish PKK should not be regarded as a terrorist organization. He told me why. I tried to uh, uh, collapse this taboo because of, uh, I believe in that, uh, such a historical, social and heavy problem like Kurdish issue in Turkey, you, you, you have to uh, discuss, uh, you have to have freedom of expression. The lawyer blamed President Erdogan's government for trying to jail him. The president today sent his condolences and blamed terrorists, while the prime minister said Elchi might have been killed in the crossfire. In the centre of Istanbul tonight, police used water cannon to disperse hundreds of protesters many of them sharing Mr. Elchi's fear that Turkey is heading for sectarian war. Turkey shouldn't be uh, like Halepo, like uh, Damascus, like Baghdad, because no the same situation in Turkey. Uh, but, now? but now I am afraid. Before his death, Mr. Elchi had told me he believed the vast majority of Kurds wanted to stay part of Turkey. He was a passionate advocate of non-violence and his voice is needed now perhaps more than ever.